we're going to learn about how to use lists. Uh, lists are very, very hard to work with, especially for someone who's just learning how to code. Uh, and we have done lots of coding before, but lists are usually what separates people who know a little bit of coding and people who know lots of coding, all right? So uh, even if you don't understand it, I want to make sure that you have a go of it today, okay? Uh, it is not easy, all right? So don't feel bad if, uh, if you don't get it working the first time round. Uh, you can ask me questions after the lesson as well. All right, first of all, let's open Spike Prime and let's get into your code. Don't worry, I'll just load up the, the code from the Keep It Safe module. All right, let's have a look at this. So remember the first things we did, uh, you might already have this, but even if you don't, make sure you do this, okay? So we go into my blocks, and then I think we, we got one called open, and then we had, um, and then we go save, and then we also made one for close, right? And then we went save. Right. So this was our code from last week. So when it starts, we lock it, and then we uh, do the left, right, left to open it, okay? So I'm just going to connect up my robot. I hit my connect. I'm gonna try and connect by Bluetooth. Yep. So uh, it's connected successfully. If it doesn't connect by Bluetooth for you, then just um, uh, connect with the cable, okay? Let's run this code and let's have see what it does. So I press play. Yep, so it just made a sound because it's locked my um, my safe. It's locked my safe and I can't open it. Well, I mean, I can take the Lego apart, but that's not fun, right? It's locked my safe. So now I need to go left, right, left, and then it unlocks it, and then I can open it up again, right? But remember, what's wrong with my safe? The thing that is wrong with it is that left, right, left is a really easy password to guess. And it doesn't punish me if I enter the wrong code, all right? So today we're going to learn how to organize it so that we can um, punish someone for entering the wrong code, okay? How are we gonna do that? How are we going to do that? Well. Let me tell you what we are going to do. We're gonna make it so that every time you press a button, it doesn't matter if it's the left button or the right button, we are going to record that press on a list. And every time a button is pressed on, uh, and we add that button to the list, we are going to check that list. We're going to get rid of this code after the left button is pressed because that's not useful anymore. Okay. Second thing is we're going to go into variables and then we're going to make a list. We're going to call it button presses. Now, like I said, don't worry about doing the code yet. Okay, uh, I just want you to have a look first. Okay. Button presses. When left button is clicked, and also I want to make it so that there is one for when right button is pressed. Okay. But instead of pressed, I want it to be released. 
And same with the left button, when the left button is released. That way, we are only going to record it once you've pushed it and then released it. Okay. When left button is released and when right button is released. What are we going to do when the left button is released or when right button is released? Well, we're going to add something to the list. We're going to go in variables. And then we're going to add something to the button presses. When left button is pressed, we add a one to button presses. When right button is pressed, we add a number two to button presses. And also, uh, when, when we start the program, we need to delete all of button presses. Okay. So we make a list called button presses. And then when we press on the left button, well, when we release the left button, then we add one to the button presses. And when we, when we release the right button, we add a two to the button presses. All right. So now we need to have a function to check our list. Because if the list has three button presses in it, we need to check if it is equal to one, two, one. Okay, so we're going to check the list every time we press or we release a button. And if there are three items there, then we are going to check if it's one, two, one. If it's not one, two, one, then we punish the person. But if it is one, two, one, then we unlock the lock. Does that make sense? So this is how you do that. So we go control. And then if then lock, OK? And then if you go into variables, and then you go length of button presses. So we wanted to make sure that if it is equal to three. So we go into operators, equal to three. If the button presses in your, in your length, the length of button presses is equal to three, then we're going to do a check here. Okay. And same with the, um, the, the right button press, but we're going to do this bit first. Okay. So we're going to create a my block called check combination. Okay, so my block, we make a block, go okay. check combination. And then we go add. So now you'll have a check combination um, block over here, down here. So here we go check combination when uh, after this. So, and then we copy this bit of the code, the if block, and then add it to the right button as well. Okay. So if the button presses is more is equal to three, then we're going to check the combination. What are we gonna do when we check the combination? Well, here, this is where it starts to get tricky, okay? Go like this, control. We go in if and else, okay? If operator, and then we need two ands, okay? So we need an and, and 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 because we want to make if the first one is one the second item is two and the third item is one okay so you copy this down continue copying so we go into variables if item one of button presses is equal to one right so we go into operators and we go equal to one. And then we need item two of operator is equal to two. And then the third item is also equal to one. Okay. 
And then we're checking the first item, the second item, and then the third item of button presses. So go, we go into variables. So go item one of button presses. Then item two of button presses. And then finally, we got item three of button presses. If all that checks out, then we unlock. We open the um, the safe. Otherwise, what do we do? We uh, what do we do? We delete everything inside the combinations. So we go into variables, and then we go uh, delete all of button presses. And then we force them to wait for two seconds. So we go, wait two seconds. And this is the punishment, waiting for two seconds. And then you can also have a um, unhappy, unhappy face for two seconds. So now let's test it. So it starts off locked, and then if I, so I entered the wrong code, then it's giving me uh, an unhappy face. Keeps giving me an unhappy face when I enter the wrong code. But when I enter the right code, it unlocks.